Today, Yandere-chan must eliminate a girl named Kokona Haruka. Yandere-chan has the ability to commit murder and get away with it, but she has decided to dispose of Kokona without getting any blood on her hands. There are rumors that Kokona is going on dates with older men in exchange for money. Yandere-chan speaks with Kokona and learns that the rumors are true. But Kokona has a reason for her actions. Her father is in debt and she is trying to earn enough money to help him pay his debt. Yandere-chan learns that the loan shark extorting Kokona's father has a daughter who is attending the same school as them. Yandere-chan realizes that she can use this information to her advantage. You're the one who wanted to meet me here? <laughs> Your note said that you wanted to talk about my dad's debt. What did you want to say? I learned some information that might be useful to you. What is it? Are you familiar with a girl named Musume? I've spoken to her a couple of times, but I don't know her very well. Her father runs a loan agency. Ronshaku Loans. What? Musume's father is the one extorting your dad. I never would have expected to hear that. But what am I supposed to do with this information? I think that if we hurt Musume-chan, we can make her father stop extorting your dad. What? No! Even if Musume-chan's father is an awful person, she doesn't deserve to be hurt. Maybe she does. Why would you say that? Today, Musume-chan was bragging about the expensive gifts her father buys for her. Clothing, shoes, jewelry, watches, handbags. She bragged about how she can make her father buy anything she wants if she pretends to cry until he buys it. Everything she owns was bought with the money that was extorted out of your father. And she's not even grateful for any of it. That is what my dad suffers for. So that Bimbo can wear jewelry she doesn't deserve. I have a plan. I'll knock her out, tie her up, and blindfold her. Then, we'll beat her up. She'll never know it was us. What? What would that solve? It would send a message to her father. He'll realize he can't keep getting away with what he's doing. He'll put an end to his loan business. Your dad will be free from debt. Would that really work? Of course. <sighs> All right. Let's do it. <clears throat> I'll call you when it's time. Please hurry. I don't want my dad to suffer any longer. After you. Oh my god! What's wrong? This isn't what I expected. Don't forget why we're here. This is for your father's sake, remember? Here, huh? you'll need this. I'm not sure about this anymore. I've heard that voice before. Kokona, is that you? Ugh, did I really get kidnapped by a skank like her? Wh what? Who are you calling a skank? Don't play dumb. The whole school knows you sleep with men for money. No, I don't. I just go to dinner with them. It doesn't go any further than that. <laughs> That's a laugh. Any girl with a rack like yours knows how to take advantage of it. Just admit what everyone already knows. You're a total slut. 
I... I never asked for my body to look like this. But I bet you enjoy all the money that your huge boobs are making for you. I don't get to keep any of the money I make. I give it all to my dad. How stupid. You're supposed to be milking money out of your dad, not the other way around. I give my money to my dad so he can pay off his debt to your dad. <laughs> Is that what this is all about? Your dad can't pay back a loan, so you're taking it out on me? You're pathetic, and your dad is pathetic. If someone can't pay debts, they shouldn't borrow money in the first place. If your dad can't pay back my dad, he deserves whatever happens to him. Keep selling your body, though. Maybe one day you'll save up enough money to buy some self-respect. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I... Did I... Wait. She's not... Dead is she? Oh my god. Oh my god. She... She's dead. She's actually dead. I... I killed her. Ayano, what are we going to... Ayano, where are you? Away from the body and put your hands in the air. Hey, hey, don't move. We have you surrounded. Stay right where you are. Are you sure it's okay to let her go? Her alibi is airtight, and we can't find any evidence whatsoever that she was even remotely involved in the crime. It doesn't matter how many times the perp tells us that this girl is involved. We have no right to keep her detained if we can't connect her to the crime. I know, but something about this girl feels wrong. You know what I mean, right? She's weird. Are you forgetting what happened back in 89? A girl her age was arrested and sent to court based on flimsy evidence, unreliable testimony, and outlandish theories. The trial made national news, the girl was found innocent, and our department was ridiculed for months. I'm not letting that happen again. Speaking of 1989, you know who her mother is, right? Are you suggesting we should suspect her of a crime just because her mother went to trial 30 years ago? No, that's not what I'm... Forget it. Let's just get her out of here. Lady, sorry to take up so much of your time. You're free to go. Thank you. You're safe now.